Now that we've talked about correlation and how we determine if there is correlation, let's talk about the least squares regression line. So once we've determined that we have linear correlation, we can find a linear equation that describes this relation. Our job is to find the equation of the line that best fits the data. The problem is, how do we decide what the best linear equation is? Well, we use something called the least squares regression line. So the best linear equation is based on the idea of something called residuals. And we find the residual by calculating the difference between the observed value and the predicted value which comes from the best fit linear equation. And they've illustrated this idea in the graph below. So this is our observed value right here. In the point 103, 274, the 274 is the observed value. And the line we have here is 103, 269.3. So that 269.3 is our predicted value. And you notice we're only looking at the response variable values here. So the difference is we subtract those two values. So this little line joining the two points has a length of 4.7. The object is to find the line so that if we were minimizing how far off the line every data point is. Residuals can also sometimes be called errors. This is important to know. So the idea behind the least squares regression line is this. The least squares regression line is the line that minimizes the sum of the squared residuals. So we find a residual for every data point, square that value, and add them all up. And whatever line minimizes that number is the line that we want. So another way of explaining this is to say that the least squares regression line is the line that minimizes the squared vertical distance between the observed value of y, the response variable, and those predicted by the line. And the ones that are predicted we call y hat. And writing this 
sort of in half math, half words, we represent it as minimize the sum of the residuals squared. So there are several advantages to the least squares regression line. One is that it allows for statistical inference on the predicted value and the slope of the line. We don't need that blank there. And the other advantage is that it present, prevents extreme values from dominating. So what does the equation of the least squares regression line look like? It looks like y hat equals b1 sub 1x, or b1, plus b naught, or b sub 0. The slope is given by b1, which equals the correlation coefficient times the standard deviation of the x variable divided by the standard deviation of the y variable. And the x-intercept we find by doing b0 equals the mean of the y variable minus b1 times the mean of the x variable. So let's just remind ourselves of what all these letters mean. X bar is the sample mean, and SX is the stand, sample standard deviation of the explanatory variable. Which is X. Y bar is the sample mean, and SY is the sample standard deviation of the response variable, which is y. <clears throat> now, you might be asking what, why is there a y hat in our equation? Well, we use y hat to remind us that it's a predicted value instead of an observed value. So let's quickly talk about the characteristics of the least squares regression line. The first thing is that it always contains the point x bar, y bar. Also, the predicted value of y, which remember we denote y hat, is an estimate of the mean value of the response variable for a particular value of the explanatory variable. The sign of the correlation coefficient r and the sign of the slope of the least squares regression line are always the same. Another property is that the least squares regression line minimizes the sum of the squared residuals. We've already talked about that. We have two more properties. Then we'll talk about how to use technology to find the least squares regression line in the next video.
So when we do this, when we round the slope in the y-intercept, we agree to do that to four decimal places. Now, that is said with a warning. We all know how Pearson is. Sometimes Pearson changes it and wants six decimal places or something else. So make sure you pay attention when you're doing your homework in My Labs Plus and so you don't miss the answer just because you rounded to the wrong number of decimal places. Okay, we'll talk about how to do this in the next video.